Okay, before we start this video, I just want to let you guys know that uh, it is kind of our fault that we bought the wrong turbo. If I just did a little bit more reading, I would have figured out um, that this is not the one that we wanted. But um, this video can serve as a way to help you guys if you're interested in getting a cheaper turbo. Um, what to look for and um, how to go about you know, selecting the right turbo for your car on uh, eBay because some people use eBay turbos with great success and we have no doubt that we can too so we're still gonna try um, but it's interesting because we didn't even know that this type of turbo existed um, obviously I'm filming this after the fact yep. but uh, really interesting what we found in there did not know that uh, the turbo could be the way that it ended up being uh, you can go ahead and skip to uh, whatever timestamp this is uh, we'll put a little title there um, if you want to just get right into the uh, turbo itself and disassembling that what we found and uh, what to look for when you buy an eBay turbo yeah don't just hastily order things like we did other than that guys enjoy the video um, I'll see you guys at the end what is up team boost and welcome back once again to another video today we get the turbo in for uh, the Datsun engine, which is a 1988 uh, Thunderbird turbo coupe motor. And uh, the reason we're getting a new turbo for this is because the old one was journal bearing, we want to upgrade to ball bearing, and also it was too big, so it was melting the plug wires. This one's hopefully going to sit a little bit farther away. I'm a little bit concerned that we ordered the wrong one because it is an eBay turbo. And uh, sometimes those are a little bit misleading. I'll show you exactly what we mean. Uh, one of the first things that we have to do is go grab some hardware. We're missing some screws to install a new radio in that. And we're missing some uh, stuff to convert these cooler lines that are on top of the motor to steel braided. Uh, so we're going to blast the store real quick and get some stuff. Haha, <laughs> it's on this side, Devin. We stopped at Marshall's because I needed uh, barbed to AN fittings and I couldn't find anything like that here. I'm going to have to order them online. We use them in the Porsche so I know they exist. Uh, sometimes Marshall's doesn't have everything. Devin did get the shit to install the radio though which is good because this is aftermarket but it's, it's ugly and uh, it's a little outdated. So even with the nice speakers that we installed it just sounds like crap. Uh, I also got screws to correctly install these because the ones it came with were like two inches long and it totally hits the metal back there and sticks off the thing. So we're going to shoot back home now and see if the turbo has arrived. See if that freaking turbo's here. Hopefully. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Oh, oh! Is it there? It's not there. Oh. It's not there at all. Just make sure you're not lying to me. No, it's not there. Nope. Oh, well, it showed up, but it's like seven now, so we're definitely gonna do the video tomorrow, but we can unbox it now. I think there's a turbo in there. Yeah, probably. It's pretty freaking heavy. Turbo GT35. Fake. <laughs> Imitation. Not real. I'm being too down on it. Yeah, hey, try it out. Who knows? Sure, so it looks sweet. Okay. Look at all these cool little rubber things. It is new. <laughs> <laughs> Super shiny. All right, so for us, it's gonna be tomorrow, but for you guys, we're gonna cut this together real quick. So I guess now we're going to uh, take a look inside this thing and see if it's truly a ball bearing GT35 imitation or if it's uh, a little bit worse than that. Who knows? We'll find out. We're also gonna go see if it's the right size for our engine. 
All right, so this is an eBay ball bearing turbo. It cost about $400. We're not gonna say what brand it was, um, but we're gonna take it apart and see if it's a true ball bearing uh, turbo or if there's other things going on inside of there. One thing that's good to see is that this uh, particular turbo is advertised to be 76 millimeters on the compressor, uh, and it looks like it is, so that's good. I'm gonna move forward now. So we need to do this, the, uh, these are threaded backwards, so the other wrench needs to be on. on. Yeah, you're gonna need help with this though, I can't do this. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna pull the back off there. And then, to be honest, we've already done this. We'll explain exactly what's going on here. So it looks like it's journal bearings in the back, and then they do have ball bearings in the front, but the issue with that is, you know, like what type of restrictor, if any, do you use in this? Um, we would rather just have either a journal bearing turbo or a ball bearing turbo. I wish you guys could see that better, but in the front there, they do have ceramic ball bearings. But in the back, there's journal bearings and what you could do is buy an actual so like this whole centerpiece they sell these and you could get a real GT35 from Garrett and just put these compressor housings on it and that would be cheaper than getting a brand new uh, Garrett GT35 so you could use the there's nothing wrong with this compressor housing there's nothing wrong with this exhaust housing um, and you can get this turbo for $400 and I'm pretty sure you can get the GT35 centers for um, I think like five, six hundred bucks. So yeah. You could have a real GT35 for uh, about a thousand dollars as compared to, I think new, they're like 1500 to 2000. Yeah. Super expensive. Now uh, the first indication that something was wrong was that uh, if you look at the inlet side here, yeah. Yeah. on a real ball bearing turbo, um, there's a pin in here and uh, that's where your restrictor or your oil feed would go. And in this one, there's nothing because this center housing is made for journal bearings. Uh, yep. There's no pin to pull out, there's no pin to press in, so there's not a real dual ball bearing cage in there. Um, it's this weird kind of... Hybrid turbo. Yeah, and uh, I, I, you know, to be honest, I don't know how well these work. I mean, I'm, I'm sure some of you run these and they're just fine, but um, we prefer an actual ball bearing turbo, so we're gonna go back on eBay because we're still, we're still keen on trying out one of these eBay turbos and we're going to um, see if there's any actual dual ball bearing options. We're gonna put this one back together. There's no reason to go farther than this. We already found out what's going on. It only has ball bearings on the compressor side and not yeah. on the exhaust side. Um, we're not trying to figure out what type of restrictor, if any, to use on it. It's just, it seems like a weird design that that no you know uh, reputable turbo company uses. So we're gonna put this back together and see if there's another option on eBay that we can choose. All right, so now I'm gonna help you guys maybe pick the right turbo on eBay. Um, I'll show you what I searched and why we ended up with this one. I've already explained kind of why I don't want this one, but let me show you real quick. So you can see that I, I've, I've done some turbo searching. The first thing I did was I just typed in ball bearing turbo. And uh, the very first one that pops up is, you know, a GT35 uh, ball bearing turbo. You know, 600 plus horsepower. This one's honestly probably a little too big for a four cylinder. We want something equivalent to the uh, GT um, 3076, like a, like a GT 30, the one that's actually in our Porsche. Um, so you click on this, and then if you scroll down, you notice this is where it gets weird. Is it's a stage three, which really doesn't mean anything. It's a ceramic ball bearing on compressor side. So they basically tell you if you just do a little bit more reading. Um, luckily for us, we live in California, and this got here next day, so we should be able to return it. Um, 
Now let me show you how to get an actual ball bearing. Actually, I don't know, because I haven't actually bought it yet, so it could show up, and it could be uh, still wrong, but you can see right away these ones are a little bit more expensive. Um, the one that I found that I think is going to be good for our car is this one right here. It's got the T3 flange. Oh, that's also something we messed up. The one in there has a T4 flange. But, um... They advertise it as dual ball bearing, so on the compressor and the exhaust side. And um, you can see they really drive this point home. This is the ball bearing cage that I was talking about. Um, this is where that pin would go for the uh, oil feed where you put the restrictor. So this looks more legit. Um, we're definitely going to pick up this one. It's about $100 more, but that makes sense. Um, it also looks a little bit smaller, but should still be able to pull. I don't know what they advertise it as. I think they say at least 500 horsepower, but take all these things with the... Oh. 450 to 750 that's uh i don't know yeah it's ebay so obviously take all these things with a grain of salt we're gonna try this one now uh 100 dollars more but real dual ball bearing and uh, we're gonna ship the other one back okay so if the ending there was confusing uh for any reason what we ended up finding with this turbo is that it had the center section of a journal bearing turbo but they put a ball bearing on the compressor side and they had a journal bearing on the uh, exhaust side so it was a journal um, <laughs> ball bearing turbo. We just wanted a ball bearing turbo, so we made this video to show you guys that. It seems like just a cheap, effective way to make it so that they can advertise as a ball bearing. Uh, they're not lying, and if you read the description like we did later, it totally explains it. We just didn't do that. We saw a ball bearing, we thought full ball bearing turbo, and just bought it, so. Yeah, so um, if it is dual ball bearing, um, it'll have the cage. They'll like I, like I showed you on eBay, they'll, they'll be sure to advertise the fact that it is dual. That's what you want to look for because uh, then it's not as vague as to, you know, how you set that up. Um, if, if someone wants to shed light on what you do with that, do you use a restrictor? Do you treat it like a journal bearing? But it just has the added benefit of having um, a, a ball bearing. Uh, is that even a benefit? We don't know. It's just not the turbo that we wanted and um, want to help you guys make the right choice. Um, some would argue that eBay is just never the right choice um, and you should just go name brand. Uh, you know, and if you want to do that and if you still want to save money, I mean, a, a whole set is a sturdy, really, you know, reliable turbo that makes, you know, tons of boost, but um, they're just, for a smaller engine like ours, they're, they're frankly pretty big, slow to spool. So uh, we're looking for a ball bearing and uh, we want to see if there's a budget option for that. So when we find one on eBay, we will show you guys. But Devin's going to go ahead and pick a winner for this video's giveaway. If you guys are not familiar with the channel, we give away products from BoostedShades.com every single video. That is also the best way to support us is to head on over to BoostedShades.com and see what we have to offer. All right, this video's winner is Boost Addict. Okay. And uh, nope. you were wrong. What? His comment is, I'm never going to win. Oh, and sure. we landed on you. Lucky you. All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Devin doesn't necessarily pick these in a sweep six manner. Just kind of scroll. Yeah. Through. I just flick through the comments <laughs> and then land on a random one. We try to make it as random as possible, but obviously we give stuff away every video. So your chances are pretty good, considering that only like 120 to 200 of you actually comment. Uh, maybe one day it'll change, and then we'll give away more shit. But for right now, you have a pretty good chance, no matter who you are, so don't just assume that you're going to lose. If you guys are interested in winning, all you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. The comment could be anything, but sometimes we ask you guys shit at the end of the video. Um, this video's question is, have you ever bought anything off eBay, a performance part for your car? And if so, did it turn out good for you, or was it a complete piece of junk? We've used eBay for a lot of things, most of which genuine used parts, but... Why not explore the uh, the budget options of new things? So Yeah, they seem to work out. out for us most of the time. Uh, one thing that you guys probably saw, I said I wasn't going to say the brand, um, but I showed you guys on the computer what one we bought. It was the CX Racing Turbo. Uh, like we said, it looks great. It looks like it's well built. Nothing against those guys. Personally, we have their intercooler on the Porsche. Very uh, impressed with the quality of it, considering how cheap it was. Um, so as far as CX Racing goes, I'm sure... Uh, they're a okay. It's just not what we were looking for. Um, didn't entirely mean... our fault. Yeah, <laughs> entirely our fault. Um, but that's gonna do it for this one. As always, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.